Okay. Welcome to the Spark of Madness Oscars edition. We're going to go through and pick who we think is going to win each of the Oscar categories. I'm Matt. That's Ben. That's Aaron. And joining us again is Colin Orr. Woo, 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 woo. Hey, hey. Woo. <laughs> Welcome back, Colin. We just shared who our favorite best pictures are, but who do we think is actually going to win? The only things I know about these movies are from what you have said <laughs> and the synopses I, I read. The movie that I think will win best picture is going to be the most political one, The Post. Wow. I'm, I'm going to make that prediction. Well, interesting. Oh. I'm picking Shape of Water to win also. It'll be a trend for me that I think Shape of Water is actually going to clean up. Uh, you think so? In a lot Ooh. of categories. Ooh. this You mean wow. the shape of water is going to mop the floor? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Mine's going to be Christopher Nolan. That movie was constructed beautifully. Uh, all the logistics that had to happen. The, the decision to have Hans Zimmer have the, the, the clock uh, moving the whole time. And then it finally gets stops when he feels like... Oh, finally, I am not in in the trenches anymore. Mm -hmm. Like little things like that add up to the whole, the whole thing. This was a toss up for me between Daniel Day Lewis and Gary Oldman, and I kind of think Gary Oldman will get it. I'm gonna go with Meryl Streep. Okay, she All was right. good, but I don't think she was like transcendent. You're, That's what you're I think making about very. Most of these I love decisions. that Aaron's making very educated it's guesses. It's I love it. It's I really it. good. Mm. Like, I hope you win. Did you think I was unprepared or something, having not seen any of these movies? Sam Rockwell, all the way. Yeah, I think he's he's an amazing actor, and he deserves it. I'm surprised that um, Army Hammer's not on here. I mean, yeah, there's a, this was a crowded category. And yeah. Michael Shannon's not on here. Army Hammer's not on here. We were talking about Ryan Gosling yeah, for but, Blade but Runner. Michael Shannon, like, wouldn't you consider him to be a main actor because he's like the main? Like, why? Why? Yeah, what's the distinction? Yeah, I don't know. and why is why is Woody Harrelson like? Why is Sam Rockwell what, supporting? Yeah, why is he for that main actor? Yeah, yeah. That, that's confusing. Yeah. Okay, so this is funny for me. I had to pick between. Uh, two moms, one that is a paranoid about money, and then one that is an abusive mother. So, I'm gonna go with I Tanya and go Allison Jenny. We'll say I'm super happy the big sick is on here. Yes, that oh was, my god, I was gonna say that. Yep. Yeah, it's one of my favorite movies of the year. I don't think it should have yeah. been a best picture, but I'm psyched it's on this list. Uh, that said, I'm going with Get Out. <laughs> <laughs> as be for best original script. That's great. As much as I love the room, as you guys know, <laughs> I think it's absolutely ridiculous. The disaster artist is on this yeah, list. I mean, the movie wasn't that good. No. <laughs> like I like I oh, know the adaptation is stellar. It's just a step James above Frank a Pineapple Express. <laughs> James Franco won a Golden Globe for the like that's what? Like uh, I'm going with Call Me By Your Name. I did name not too. win the Oscar. I did not. I did, I did not. not. I did not. I did not. I did not win. I did not get Oh, nominated. hi, Academy. <laughs> it's having me a pot, Academy. Well, after talking to you and Colin, I was going to go with Coco originally. I haven't seen any of them, unfortunately. But you, you described, both of you described that Loving Vincent's all done by real paintings. And so I'm going to choose. <laughs> I'm going to choose loving Vincent. Vincent Price, that is. <laughs> I'm going to go Dunkirk 2, but here's my argument for Blade Runner. M what I want Blade Runner to win, but Blade Runner, uh, Dunkirk was completely conceived out of scratch. The cinematography, everything, True. working with IMAX, knowing everything, knowing all the logistics is out of scratch. Uh, Blade Runner, as beautiful as it is, and as amazing as it is, it had something to work from with the original Blade Runner. Let's go up to best makeup and hairstyling. I think this may be a sweep, but who knows? I'm going Darkest Hour. Uh, Darkest Hour. Yeah. yeah. Darkest Hour. Darkest Hour. Sweep. Why wouldn't um, Shape of Water be on there for best makeup? I the creature is, is a makeup it because has is it makeup? Though? It is. It is because Harry Henderson's one for best makeup, and he was a he was a yeah. That's he right. was a guy in a suit, but he had hair. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah I don't know.
You're going Dunkirk. Dunkirk. Aaron. I'm going Dunkirk. Too. I think it should win that. I'm going Dunkirk. To do too. something so confusing and make it so easy for me to understand was pretty good. I actually think Baby Driver is going to win. Because how they did the on-site um, editing? Yes, and as well as just like, it's basically a music video. The that's all, The only reason the, the whole movie works and is so unique is because it is timed to music so perfectly. They, they had yeah. to. Blade Runner 2049. Uh, ben, you brought up the good point that they have a, a foundation yeah. to work on, but... As a big fan of the original Blade Runner, they really didn't take too much from it. Well, there's, they added more to it. There's yeah. so much scenery that's completely unique to that movie. I, I don't necessarily agree with the idea that the foundation was there, because no, they did so I'm much No, but I'm stuff. thinking about the politics. I'm, you, I'm thinking, you, I'm thinking, you right, you right. I'm, I, you right, I'm, you right. I, I agree with you. If, if, <laughs> ben, you right! If there wasn't <laughs> politics involved, Blade Runner would be the best. <laughs> you right, you right, you right, you right. You right. Colin, are you right? Am I, I right? Am I ain't right? right? I ain't right. Uh, but I think Shape of Water is going to get it. <laughs> <laughs> but my logic is the politics. My logic is that War of the Planet of the Apes is the climax of this series, I think. Mm -hmm. Right? It and it is so impressive. This is also the most impressive instance of this type of graphics and motion capture and everything about it. Impressive. We're not going to get another chance that they are going to give it to them this time. Um, so I'm going with War for the Planet. A That's job. a very good... And you know what? And if they win, I'd be happy. And if Blade Runner wins, I'll be yeah. happy. But I won't get my eyes. Colin, <laughs> do you have a... Well, well uh, you guys swayed me. At first, I did choose Blade Runner, but now I'm with War. I'm what like, is it good for? Apes. There's sound mixing. Uh, God, again, Blade Runner and Dunkirk. I'll pick Dunkirk. Oh. It's, it, it's, a, it's a technical feat to have that clock there all the time and have it be With, noticeable but still not noticeable. That's a great yeah, argument. Like I told that's you, I didn't even notice argument. it until the very end. Even though I said out loud, the music is perfect and I want Phantom Thread to win, I think Shape of Water is going to win. Mm. I agree with you, Matt. Shape of Water. What about original song? <laughs> I'm going to have to go with the most catchy. I mean, I hate, like, it's probably unpopular, but stand up for something. Let's do best animated short. So we're going to have to take some wild guesses. Um, unless Colin, you you know more than I, we do. I've, I've seen I've seen some of these. I'm gonna go with Garden Party. That that was my second one. Garden I have, Party of Fifty. I know nothing about it. Let's see. I'm imagining like a little kid doing like a tea party with an elderly person. That's it's that's about what I'm. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Uh, it's about frogs. It's about lizards. It's about frogs. Best live action short. Just really depressing. Depressing, stories. you know, movies that were just were just like <laughs> <laughs> fart jokes. My Fragile. nephew had it. Farts. <laughs> oh, no. Actually, uh, modium. He died. <laughs> Here, I'll, I'll bring it down. My pick is uh, Del Cab Elementary because it's about a school shooting. I don't know, but and well, there thank, goes the. Do movie. you know that or not? I do or, know. I watched. I watched the trailers for it. Thank oh, God. Gosh. Thank God. I didn't make a joke about that. <laughs> <laughs> what do you yeah, think saw, that one could even be trailer. about? Oh, it's not a triangle. Like, uh, yeah, don't reveal it yet, Colin. What do you think the square is about? I think the square is about a little boy who has autism and who could, who could, who could only feel released when he's in his sandbox in the square. He, he gets all rigid when he leaves his so sandbox. The boundary of the so square. it's about his whole story grow, uh, going out, Damn. growing up where he gets out of the sandbox and like he lives on the uh, Stupid you know. kid afraid to leave the stupid. Yeah, <laughs> but then, but then, but somehow he ends up seeing the uh, the beach for the first time. What uh, what's yeah. the what's the real kind of just? I think it's an art piece thing where it's an actual lit up square. Wow, it's gonna win. Really? <laughs> I'm like, okay, I, I kind of feel like that's gonna win. I kind of want to make my movie now. I <laughs> I kind of want to make the sandbox. You've got a chance. The box. Oh, the box. The box. Yeah, yeah, the box. I like watch players. it. Yeah.
I'm actually going to go with Icarus. Um, I, I felt it was very intense the whole way, and I'm shocked about it. Icarus is about uh, Russians doping in the Olympics. Oh, and yeah. It was, yeah, yeah. It was, I remember it was, a, it was an amazing documentary. Wow. All right, last one. Best documentary short. Edith, Ed and Eddie. <laughs> Why do they have a plus sign? <laughs> Edith plus Edie equals Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, going, is... I'm going with Matt plus Ben equals I'm going with the same that you guys. Okay. <laughs> well equals agreement. No one's going with knife skills. I mean, they, they it's just somebody's you YouTube video time. that's really well polished. <laughs> it's like <laughs> no, it's 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 a doc, it's the, it's a short about uh, Ben Carson, right? Hmm. <laughs> thing is, you spend. We'll have to wait and see on Sunday uh, who had the most correct. Although we had a lot of crossover, so have we decided what the, the winnings are? No, we don't have a win good one. And if somebody has suggestions, maybe they can post How? it. We'll yeah. come up. We'll come up with a good prize. The winner shall chop the largest tree in the forest with our herring. Come on, that's funny. Come on, man. What's that face? <laughs> Come on, man. What's that face? All right, tune in on Sunday to see who wins. Woo! Yay! Can't wait. Woo!